Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Good morning and thank you for joining us. You're welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Please do leave a comment. Let's know who is welcoming you. I want to seize the opportunity to welcome everyone who is going to join us later. And those who are coming much later to replay. Thank you so much. Oh, Elder Fire. Thank you for joining us. Oh, my God. So glad to have you join us today. How are you doing today? How is everything? I hope everything is going well. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you. We thank you, Lord, for today. Evelyn, you're welcome. Thank you. Come on, as you connect, just give the video a thumbs up. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just begin to thank him. Enter his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. Let your thanksgiving just rise up to heaven. Begin to thank God. I'm doing good too. Wow. We are, we are still to start. You're already feeling the strong presence. It means this is going to be a good session. This is going to be a good session. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Please just thank God. Let your thanksgiving rise up to heaven. Let your thanksgiving and gratitude. Amen. Amen. Thank you. You remain my number one intercessor. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you for always praying for us. Thank you. Oh, la zibara subra shihanda banana nasiana. Li arasuanda balaru shakali arasobra handa manakala rasihanda. Le ruasha handa balarasiana balaru zabru kalarusha. Li anakabarasiana balaru zabra handa manakayana balarusha. Li ze kabarusha handa balarasiana balaruza. Leana manakayara suhana manakasiara rua. Li ze ze barasu brashika yana karasu brashakaliana. Li ze bayana karu shakali yara sobra handa. Kariana manakarasihana mana zo barasiana balaruza. Yana baru shakali yara subra handa nanalasia. Liana kabara subra shakali yara siana balaruza. Ya kayana 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 la subra ha. I ye kabayana kalara rasi handa balaru shakali yara siana. I yara subra shakali yara siana balaruza. You are God. You are not just big. You are not just large. You are a great God. You are God. You are not just big. You are not just large. You are a great God. You are God. You are not just big. 
You are not just large, oh. You are a great God. You are God. You are not just big, oh. You are not just large, oh. You are a great God. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Take me closer, closer to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer to thee. Teach me your ways. Teach me your ways and draw me nearer, nearer to thee. He's a pillar of cloud by the day and the pillar of fire by the night. We can never understand him. He's a miracle God, Lara Sibrasha. He's a pillar of cloud by the day and the pillar of fire by the night. We can never understand him. He's a miracle God. He's a pillar of cloud by the day and the pillar of fire by the night. We can never understand him. He's a miracle God. Layana bara subra shikali arasiana. Yana bala raso branda la rusha kali arasiana bala rusa. Zika bara sihanda bala rusha kali arasiana. Yana bara sihanda bala rusha kali kare subra handa la rusa. Yana baru shakali kare suhanda bala rasiana. Li anakabarasianda balaruza, li zebarusha kaliara sobra handa la rasiana. Oh, li anakabarasiana balaruza, branda la rusha. Yana barasihanda balaruza, broka la rusha kaliana la rasiana. Oh, Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory and we give you all the honor. Be thou exalted in our midst, Lord. Be thou exalted in our lives today. We acknowledge your presence in this place, Lord. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. We say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Monday reporter, you're welcome. Mosesani, you're welcome. Mosesana, sorry, you're welcome. Thank you for joining us, Evelyn, once more. You're welcome. Elder Fire, always a blessing having you join us. Hallelujah. Are we ready for today? Like usual, I didn't come on my own. This is time for a declaration, a morning declaration. And the Lord has a word for someone. Hallelujah. Second Kings chapter 7 from verse 1 to verse 7. Can someone help me with the scriptures? Second Kings chapter 7 from verse 1 to verse 7. <clears throat> Amen. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, oh. If I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, oh. Because if I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me. I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, oh, if I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me. 
I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, oh, if I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me, if Jesus can pray, if Peter can pray, if our fathers can pray, oh, who are we not to pray? So I will pray, I will pray, I will pray, oh, if I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me. Elisha said, listen, listen God's word. The famine is over, come on. This is a word for someone, God says the famine is over. The famine is over. The famine is over. It says, listen to the word of God. Listen to God's word. The famine is over. The season of lack in your life is over. I don't know which aspect of your life has been experiencing a famine. But I came with a word from God today. God says the famine is over. The famine is over. The famine is over. The famine is over. I came with a word for someone today. The Lord says I should tell you the famine is over. He says, listen to God's word. The famine is over. This time tomorrow, food will be plentiful. This time tomorrow, food will be plentiful. This time tomorrow, you will have what they are in abundance, what you have been desiring. By this time tomorrow, what you've been believing God for, you have more than enough. By this time tomorrow, he says food will be plentiful. By this time tomorrow, I don't know what you've been trusting God for. I don't know what you've been believing God for. I don't know what you've been praying for. But God says by this time tomorrow, he says the famine is over. By this time tomorrow, he says food will be plentiful. Peace will be plentiful. Oh, happiness and joy will be plentiful. Finances will be plentiful. By this time tomorrow, God says I should tell someone, the famine is over. The famine is over. No more lack and want. The famine is over. No more tears. The days of sorrow are over. By this time tomorrow. Oh. He says food will be plentiful. A handful of meal for a shekel. Two handfuls of grain for a shekel. The market at the city gate will be, bu will be boozing. And just so you know, before the king could come to Elisha, the famine was so bad that women began to cook their children and eat. The famine was that bad that women began to... Oh, many women live for their children. Many women, many mothers live for their children. But the famine was so bad... That women started feasting on the very reason, on the very thing they live for. They started eating up the very thing they live for because they just wanted to stay alive. The attendant on whom the king leaned for support said to the holy man, You expect us to believe that? Oh, he didn't know. He didn't know that when it comes to the things of God, you don't need to see the possibility. You know, I, I, I don't need to know how God is going to do it. I don't need to know if it's possible, but if God says it, I believe it. I don't need to know if it can be doable, but if God says it, I believe it. The man says, you expect us to believe that? Trap door opening in the sky and food turned tumbling out and Elijah said to him you watch it with your own eyes but you will not eat so much as a mouthful Elijah says for, for refusing to believe it for questioning what God is about to do 
for doubting God's ability to do what he says. He says, you will see it with your eyes, but you will not eat of it. You will see it in your eyes, but you will not eat of it. You don't need to know how God is going to do it. You are poor, you are, your own part in the equation is to hear it and believe it. Receive it with gladness. God's part is to bring his word to come to pass. And he knows exactly how to do that. He doesn't even need your help to do that. It happened. Now here, verse 3 says, It happened that four lepers were sitting just outside the city gate. They said one to another, What are we doing sitting here at this door? If we enter the famine stroke city, we'll die. If we stay here, we'll die. So let's take our chances in the camp of Aram and throw ourselves on their mercy. Is there someone here who is ready to take chances? Is there someone who is ready to say, ah, when you are lying on the floor, you are not scared of, of falling anymore. I'm ready to take chances. I'm ready to take the next step. I'm ready to do whatever, to go through the next open door. I'm ready to just do anything. By the way, me not taking chances has not helped. I'm almost dying not taking chances. So if I take the chance and I still almost die or die, they, what difference does it mean? Is there anyone ready to take chances or go to take steps of faith? If they receive us, we'll live. If they kill us, we'll die. We've got nothing to lose. Thank you for joining us, family. You are all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. We've got nothing to lose. So after the sun went down, they got up and went to the camp. Surprise! Not a man in the camp. The master had met the army of, of Aram. He heard the sound of voices, of horses, and a mighty army, and the march. They told one another, the king of Israel hired the kings of the Hittites, of the Hittites, and the kings of Egypt to attack us. Panicked, they ran for their lives through the darkness, abandoning their tents, their horses, their donkeys, the whole camp just as it was, running for their dear lives. These four lepers entered the camp and went into the tent, into a tent. First, they ate and drank. Oh, come on. It says that the lepers that were at the verge of dying, they, they did what they did because they were saying we have nothing to lose. Either way, we are still going to die. So it's better we do something and then see whether the Lord will deliver us or if we die, we still die. And then it says that first they ate and they drank. Oh, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? So running and abandoning their horses, their tents, and their donkeys. The whole camp, just as it was, running for their dear life. These four lepers entered the camp and went into a tent. First, they ate and drank. Then they grabbed silver and gold and clothing from people who were at the verge of dying to people who have gold and silver and clothing at their disposal. They live, God can change your life overnight. God can change your life in one day. God can change your life overnight. I don't know who I'm talking to. Oh, thank you, Evelyn. But God can change your life overnight. You don't need to have many years. God doesn't need to give you many months. God can change your life overnight. People that didn't have what to eat, they ate and drank, and then they gathered the gold, the silver, the clothing for themselves. They were rejected outcasts. The society didn't feel like they belonged, as they were a part of the society. They were outside the 
city. They, 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 they were rejected out of the city. The society didn't feel like they were a part of them. Oh, And went off and hit it. They came back, entered another tent, and looted it. Again, hiding their plunder. Finally, they said to one another, We shouldn't be doing this. This is a day of good news. Someone, this is a day of good news for you. This is a day of good news for you. This is a day of good news for you. You are about to walk in abundance. The very thing you have been surviving because you lacked. The very thing that you have been believing God for. This is a day of good news for you. You are about to walk in abundance of that thing. This is the day of good news to you. You are about to have that thing in abundance. The same people that were considered outcasts. The same people that were considered good for nothing. In just one moment, in the blink of an eye, they began to have everything that they ever needed. They had all. They had spoils that was beyond them. They had blessings that were beyond them. In just uh, in just the, the, the click of the hand, their lives changed. And, uh, 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 and they were rejected by, 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 by their own society. Rejected by their own families. Because they were lepers. But the Lord said, I have not rejected you. Yes, they rejected you. They, they threw you out. They casted you out. But the Lord says, I have not rejected you. They said you were good for nothing. They said nothing good can come of you. But the Lord said, I have not rejected you. They consider you a non-entity. But the Lord said, I have not rejected you. They said you were an outcast. The the Lord says that I've not rejected you. It doesn't matter what man thinks. It doesn't matter what man says. If the Lord has not said it, nothing else matters. If the Lord has not said it, it is only one day what the Lord has said that is permitted to come to pass. Only what the Lord has said that is permitted to come to pass. Whatever was happening, the Lord was not a part of it. So the Lord still had their breakthrough. Oh, isn't it amazing that God will give a prophecy talking about changing the narratives talking about putting an end to, to, to a famine that was killing the people and then God would decide to use lepers to bring salvation to the people someone God is about to use you to bring salvation to your family God is about to use you to bring salvation to your lineage God is about to use you to bring salvation Says finally, they said one to another, We shouldn't do the, be doing this. This is the a day of good news. Someone by the end of this day, you are testifying that this is a day of good news. This will be your testimony before the end of today, in the mighty name of Jesus. Before the end of today, your testimony will be this has been a day of good news. This has been a day of good news. This has been a day of good news. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we are making it into a private party. If we wait around until morning, we'll get caught and punished. Come on, let's go tell the news to the king's palace. Lepers that normally on a normal day naturally don't have the right to even enter the city. All of a sudden, they have the right to enter the king's palace. They have the right to go meet the king. Hey, someone, God says you have been rejected. But God says he's putting the solution of the people in your hands. The very people that rejected you, they are going to need the solution that you carry. The very people that turn their back on you, you are going to, to, to become the one that carries their solution. Someone, God is putting a solution in you. That the very people that have rejected and abandoned you, the very people that turn their backs on you, they are about to look up to you in the mighty name of Jesus. And I came to understand that all these things happened. All these things happened. It started all because a, a, because a prophet made a declaration. A prophet spoke the word of the Lord and the 
decreed that the famine was ending, that the famine had come to an end. A prophet made a statement. A prophet made a declaration. A prophet spoke the mind of God and then things turned around. And the mind of God that was spoken by the servant of God, it amplified the steps of the lepers. It amplified the steps of people who could not even walk. And the enemy, the people that had their breakthrough, they heard, the, they heard their footsteps and they thought they were chariots and horses coming. They didn't even think it was only the chariots and the horses of, of, of the army of Israel. They thought, they told themselves, they said that the, the, the Israelites have gotten in touch, connected to the, to the kings of, of the Hittites uh, and the kings of Egypt so that they come together and defeat them. When God says it is time and, you're, and the famine is over, he begins to amplify your efforts. The same people that by, by reason of leprosy they couldn't walk, God amplified their steps and amplified the sound of their steps. And the enemy that has been holding their breakthrough, the enemy that had what they needed, the people that had what they needed, they ran for their lives and abandoned someone. Hey, your destiny helper is about to abandon and drop in your hand what he has been holding, what they have been holding that belongs to you. The people, the enemy that has held your destiny bound, they are about to drop in your hands and give you, they are abandoning what rightfully belongs to you, to you. Because God has said it. Because God's servant said it. Because the prophet said it. It happened anyhow. Because the prophet said it. Because the prophet said it, it happened anyhow. Because the prophet said it, it happened somehow. Because the man of God said it, it is coming to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. We may not know how it comes to pass, but because the Lord has declared it, he has declared the, the word of the Lord. The man that doubted, he said, you, you, because for doubting what the Lord has said, he says you will see it with your eyes, but you will not, you will not eat of it. And and I and I and the Bible, if we read all through, we are going to realize that. And after this, they, they, there was a stampede, and they stepped on that man and he died. He's ah Iyana Kabaru Shakaliara Siana. I don't know the hanging prophecy over your life. But because the prophet said it, it is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. Because the Lord told, the Lord told you that it is coming to pass speedily in the name of Jesus. We don't care to know how God brings it to come to pass. But we decree it is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. It is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. It is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. I know it didn't seem like the prophecy can manifest. There was no sign showing it is possible. Everything said this word was impossible. It is not going to happen. We don't care to know the how. But God is the God of impossibility. He is bringing it to come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, la zika barasi handa barusha. Yana barasi anda balarusha kaliara siana. Yaka barasi anda balarusha kaliara siana. Yana mana karasiana balarusha kaliara siana. And the other thing I was talking about is that the enemy, I, when God says it is time, when God says the famine is over, the enemy that has held your 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 your, your breakthrough, the enemy that has held your miracle, the enemy that has held your blessing, hey, they will abandon it and run in the name of Jesus. Whoever has held your next level, whoever has held your finances, they are leaving it for you in the name of Jesus. They will have abandoned it and run in the name of Jesus. They will abandon it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Another thing I came to understand is that the same lepers that were rejected and didn't have the right to even get into the city. The same lepers now have the right to stand before God, before the king. They had the right to stand before the king. In the very places where you were rejected, in the very places where you were thrown away, in the very places where they abandoned you, where they reject, rejected you, where they kicked you out. Hey, God is sending you back there in the volume of the books. God is sending you back there with a solution. The very places where they rejected you, a problem, there is a famine in that land and the solution lies in you. There's about to be a famine in that company and the solution is in you. There's about to be a famine in that family and you are the one bringing the good news. And the solution is put in you. 
The lepers were sent out and it wasn't before. The, the Bible doesn't tell us that they left because of the famine. No, it was... Uh, the moment you became a leper, it was forbidden for you to even interact with people. Meaning these lepers were considered, were, were considered outcasts way before the famine even started. Before the famine started, they were already considered outcasts. But the Bible says, they told themselves, they said, we've got to go and tell the king the good news. And this time around, the king doesn't have any, any, any way, any other option, any alternative but to listen to them. The same places where they, where they ignored you. They are about to give you audience because God is giving you, God is putting their solution into your hands. God is, uh, God is setting up a problem and putting the solution in your hands. That in the same place where you were ignored, they are about to give you audience because you carry what they have been looking for. Oh, Kabarasi and Abalarusha. Yanabarasi and Abalarusha, Kali Karaswanda. Yakabarasi and Abalarusha, Kali Arasobrahanda. Lise Kabarusha and Abalarasiana. Yana Barasi and Abalarusha, Kali Karaswana. God says He's amplifying your results. He's amplifying your results. The things that you used to do and, and, and people take for granted. The same things that you used to do and people don't value. The same things that you used to do and they ignore. God says you do those same things, but the result will be outstanding. You do those same things and the reward will be outstanding. You do those same things because the Lord is amplifying your results. I hear the Holy Spirit is telling me the anointing for exploits is coming upon someone. When God is about to amplify your results, one of the things God does is that he, he, he anoints you for exploits. When, when it was time for God to amplify the, the David's results, there was an anointing that came upon him. The oil was poured upon David and there was an anointing to bring down Goliath. That the very place where he went to and he was just running the errands of his father and his brothers were telling him to shut up. He doesn't have a voice here. Uh, but what was more than them, the solution was put in David. God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. What has been difficult before now? What has been difficult before now? God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. What you've not been able to accomplish before now, God is amplifying your efforts in the name of Jesus. God is amplifying your efforts in the mighty name of Jesus. God is amplifying your efforts in the mighty name of Jesus. When the anointing comes upon you, by the way, the anointing is God's supernatural ability that comes upon man's natural ability to give man supernatural results. When the anointing comes upon you, you begin to do extraordinary things. God says, someone, the anointing for greatness is coming upon you. The anointing to do great things is coming upon you. The anointing for supernatural results is coming upon you in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hola yara subranda la rusha. Lize kabara sianda ka. Kara subra shikali yara suanda balara rasiana balaruza. Yana kabarasi anda balarusha kali kareswana. Lize kabarasi anda balarusha kali kareso brahanda lararasiana. Yana kabarusha kali kareswana. The reason why the lepers had the breakthrough was because the enemy, the Arabs, thought they heard their footsteps and they thought it was chariots. And those were the ha. Leprosy eats of your feet. So to walk becomes painful. Whatever has caused you pain. Whatever has been the source of your pain is about to be the source of your breakthrough in the name.
name of Jesus. Whatever has caused you pain before now is about to give you a lot of joy in the name of Jesus. Whatever has caused you pain before now is about to be the reason why you jubilate and celebrate in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been the source of your pain before now is about to be the source of your joy in the name of Jesus. Whatever has been the source of your pain before now is about to be the source of your joy in the name of Jesus. God is turning things around for your good in the name of Jesus. God is turning things around for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. God is turning things around for your good in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Lazi Barasiana. Mountains are still being moved. And strongholds are still being lost. God, we believe it. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. Bodies are still being raised. And giants are still being slain. Oh, God, we believe it. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We set our hearts on you. Lord, please do what only you can do. We set our hearts on you. Come and do what you do. We need a more. And bodies are still being raised. And giants are still being slain. Oh, God, we believe it. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you, God. Come and do what you do. We set our hearts on you. Lord, please do what only you can do. We need a more. We need a more. We are here for you, Jesus. Come and do what only you can do. We are here, we are here for you, Lord. Please do what only you can do. We set our heart, we set our trust on you, Jesus. Please do what only you can do. We are here, we are here for you, Jesus. Come and do what only you can do. We set our hearts, our eyes are fixed on you, God. Please do what only you can do. We need a more. We are desperate. We need a more. We need a more of God. We need a more. Amplify our results. We need a more. Fulfill your words, Lord. We need a more. We are here for you. Lord, please do what only you can do. We are here, we are here for you. Please do what only you can do. We set our heart, we set our faith on you, God. Come and do what only you can do. We set our heart on you, Jesus. Please do what only you can do. Touch our lives today, Lord. Come and do what only you 
can do. Kalayana mana kayara sabra shakaliana rasubra anda. Iyana karwa shakaliana rasubra anda. Iyana karwa shakaliana rasuhanda bala rasiana. La zwa kayana kabaru shakaliana rasiana. La rwa shakaliana rasubra anda mana karwa. Iyana mana karasi handa bala rusha. Li zubra shakaliana rasi handa mana ka. Iyana mana karwa rasa handa bala rusha. Come and do what only you can do. We need a more. We are here for you. Lord, please do what only you can do. We are here for you. Change our lives, only you can do that. We set our hearts on you. Come and do what only you can do. Because we need a more. We need a more. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here. We are here for you. Lord, please do what you do. We choose to trust in you. Please do what only you can do. We need more. I'm singing to someone you know where you are right now. You cannot help yourself. And bodies are still being raised. And giants are still being slain. Oh God, we believe it. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. Do you believe he's a God of signs and wonders? Bodies are still being raised. He's still in the business of changing lives. And giants are still being slain. Oh God, we believe it. And yes, we can see that wonders are still what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. Father, let your spirit overpass someone here. Visit someone here today, Lord. Visit someone, overpass someone from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. Do what only you can do. Father, do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. Do what only you can do. I don't know if there's someone here saying, I come to, I've come to the end of the road. I don't know what to do anymore. I've tried. But this life I'm living, I can't help myself anymore. I'm talking to someone, you're at the point where the famine is at the verge of breaking you. Oh, you are the, you feel like giving up. You are at the verge of giving up. And you're saying, wow, where I find myself right now, it is only God that can help. The king understood that the famine has got to a level that things, has go, things have gone out of hand. And before the king could turn to come to the prophet, the king understood that the solution right now is in God. I came for someone today who is saying the solution to my life, to my predicament. Only God can take me out of there. I need a sign and a wonder. God, only you can deliver me out of this situation. I need a sign and a wonder. God, only you, the king says, oh, the king goes to the prophet and he says, there is something going wrong in my land and I need the Lord to speak. I need a solution right now. Otherwise, we are not going to, to, to see another day. Said mothers are beginning to kill their children. The famine has gone out of hand. I need a solution and I need it. Someone saying I need God to intervene, not tomorrow now. I need God to intervene now. I need God to intervene now. I need God to intervene in my marriage is at the verge of breaking. I need God to intervene in my finances. I'm at the verge of losing everything. I've lost everything. I've been living just by the mercy of God. I need a rapid divine intervention. Kala zibra shakali anara sihanda barusha. Iyanamana kala rasihanda balaruza brahanda larusa. 
Yana barasi handa balaru shakalia rasiana balaruza. Yaka barasi handa mana kalaru shakalia rasiana. Li zakara subra shakaliana. God says I should tell you the famine is over. The famine is over. The famine is over. That challenge has been taken away. God says I should tell you by the spirit of God, by the power of God, that challenge is no more. You will look for that same thing that has been killing you. You will look for it again and you will not see it. God says I should tell someone the famine is over. Hallelujah. The famine is over. Hallelujah. By the power of God, not by your own strength, by the power of God, the famine is over. That burden has been lifted up. That challenge has been lifted up. I'm talking to someone who knows and understands that when the going gets tough and when you try everything and it doesn't work, it's time to turn to God and say, I tried. I knew that you said the arm of flesh would fail, but I still tried anyway. But just like you have said, the arm of flesh failed me. I tried so much. I tried. I tried to build this company. I tried to make ends meet by myself. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried. Lord, I tried to fix this marriage. I tried to get this marriage to the next level, but it failed. It failed. I tried to heal myself, but I got to the point where it dawned on me I can't help myself. Oh, and you're saying, Father, we need a more. We need a move, Lord. We need a move. And this is what happens. Miracles happen when you move. Healing happens when you move. Abundance comes when you move. Miracles happen when you move. We need a move, Lord. We need a move. We need a move, Lord. We need a move. We are here for you alone, Lord. Come and do what only you can do. We are here crying to you alone, Jesus. Please do for us what only you can do. We set our hearts, we set our trust on you, Jesus. Come and do what only you can do. We need more. Right now, Lord, we need more. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Lord, please do what only you can do. We set our hearts. We set our hearts on you, Jesus. Please do what only you can do. We need more. Right here, right now, we need a more. Not tomorrow, Lord. We need a more. As the Spirit of God is moving in our midst, He's, me He's meeting you at the point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. God is meeting you at the point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. The Lord is meeting you. I don't know what you are trusting God for. I don't know what you are trusting God for. I don't know what you need from him. But God is meeting you at the point of your need. In the mighty name of Jesus. Wolf 8.8 8. God is meeting you at the point of your need. And granting your heart's desire. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Purest fire, I pray for you. Every hanging prophecy over your life is coming to pass in the name of Jesus. 
every power that has held your next level i rebuke it and i command it to let your next level go in the mighty name of jesus i decree the prophet's word over your life is coming to pass in the mighty name of jesus nothing will be able to stop you nothing will be able to stop you nothing will be able to stop you in the mighty name of jesus it is coming to pass in the mighty name of jesus nisha we don't give up on god and we don't give in to the devil we are not quitters no we stand and we watch until god does what he promised you will not give up on god and you will not give in to the devil you will see the promises of god over your life come to pass in the name of jesus i give you the strength of god i i strengthen you god says in our weakness he shows himself strong I strengthen you in your inner man in the name of Jesus. And I decree everything you need, you are believing God for. God is meeting you at the point of your need in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Kazibara subra shakali arasiana. Liza kabara subra shakali arasihanda balaruza. Yana kabaru shakali karaswanda balaruza braka larasiana. Yana kabarasiana. It doesn't matter how big the challenge. If you are still alive, then God kept you for a reason. The devil doesn't come to give you a bad head day. He comes to kill, to steal, and to destroy. If you are still alive, it means God kept you for a purpose. If you are still alive, it's because God preserves you. If you are still alive, it's because ah, the Bible says there is more hope for a living dog than for a dead lion as long as you are still alive there is hope you cannot give up on god when you are still alive you cannot give up on god when you are still alive it doesn't matter what the devil tried to do it doesn't matter the plan it doesn't matter how long it has been happening but god kept you for a reason you would have been dead by now you would have been dead by now but god preserved you he did not bring you this far just for you to give up on him he didn't keep you this far just for you to give up on him you would have died in the wilderness place. You would have died in the challenge. But God preserved you. And you can look back and you wonder how you got to this point. When you look back, you wonder how did I get to see today in the first place. That's because God preserved you. That you can't see him doesn't mean he is not there. That you cannot see him does not mean you he is not there. That you can't see his hand. That you've not had the breakthrough does not mean he is not there. That you cannot see him doesn't mean he is not there. It doesn't matter how bad it, it gets. It doesn't matter. And I'm not talking to you like someone whose life has been bread and butter. I'm talking to you like someone who has gone through thick and thin. Come on, if you are a bit close to me, at least pure fire knows part of the challenges I've been through. If I was throwing a pity party or at the verge of giving up, you will not see me sitting here one day to preach to you. I will not sit here one day to preach to you. The reason why I come out here sitting is because I told myself, devil, you are not going to have the best of me. It got to a point I told myself, I'm not going to cry and shed more tears. It makes the enemy happy. I said, I'm not going to do that. I will not give him the satisfaction. I'm going to get up and take my life in my hands. There is still something I've got to do. There is still something I can offer. When I started YouTube, I was in tremendous pain. I would go live like this and I can't get up because of pain. I can't even stand up from there. I had an open wound from one end of my stomach to the other end. I had arthritis and I couldn't walk. As a matter of fact, as I'm talking to you, I'm preaching here now. You might see me preaching with all power, but I can't stand up and preach this way. Because I'm looking for, I'm at the verge of going in for an operation, for a, for a hip replacement. I've prayed, I've fasted, and God says, sometimes you've got to go through some pain. And you've got to deal with some things. So, if whoever ever said that Christianity it would keep you away from life, the light. Hala zibarasi, amen, pure fire. Whoever ever said Christ, if anyone ever said Christianity will keep you out, we 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 will alienate you from 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 life's challenges. They lie to you. Amen, amen. They lie to you because sometimes. 
God doesn't walk. Oh, how we wish that God could just walk like a magic wand and some and you just strike and then things just happen. Like, 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 is it the genie they call it? But sometimes you've got to go through your process. You've got to take the step. Oh, I, I told myself I'm not going to just sit and, and feel sorry for myself. I know the God, the Lord has put his word in my mouth, but then my leg cannot carry my body. So if it means for me to sit down and preach to you like I'm doing now, I will do it. But somehow, somehow I will deal with the devil. He has got to get tired of me. He will regret ever looking my direction. And this is only my own. This is my own situation. Yes, I am about to go in for surgery. That's my own situation. That's my own. I, that's my own way of going through what I've got to go through. Each and everyone is dealing with something. But if you are not dead yet and you are still alive, then there is still there is still someone that your story will bless. You can't give up. Giving up is so, is so chicken-hearted. No, no, no. We, 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 if, we, if we are dying, we die on the cross. I, I, I will die on the camera. Preaching is what I was born to do. I will do it until God takes my breath. So if the devil afflicts me, and then I can still talk, he messed up. He messed up. He messed up big time. The fact that you are still here is because the devil messed up. The fact that you are still alive, pure sir, is because the devil messed up. Oh, Nisha, he thought he could have killed you. And he thought he's killing you. You can't give him the satisfaction. Oh, wait, wait. No, no, no. I, 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 I am I, I'm ahead of the, of, of the generation that will stand tall in the midst of challenges and look at the devil in the face and tell him you came too late. You came too late before you came. This woman was already anointed. Whatever you throw at me, I'm going to take it and I'm going to feast on it. If it is pain, we'll feast on it and we'll walk right ahead. I will keep trusting God, whether he shows up when I wanted it or not. But I know he is with me. That's what someone should tell themselves. My trust of God is not, it, it has gone beyond me what he does or, or doesn't do. I, I, I trust God beyond what I feel. I trust God and I believe in God. I have faith in God. Beyond, beyond answers to prayers. Beyond miracles. I, I, if you are believing God just for miracles, then you are like the, the, you are like the Israelites. Who, oh, when, when, when manna is falling, they are happy. But when they get tested, they forget everything that God has ever done. I've seen God too much. I might not have seen him in healing. But I've seen him too much. I've seen God deliver me from death. So when, if pain is the only thing I feel, I know the devil didn't come to cause me pain. I almost died. I was at the verge of saying, God, I can't take this anymore. And, and, and several times, more than three times, I've seen God deliver me from the hands of death. I, I, I can't give up on God. I don't know who I'm talking to. If it's only nature, it doesn't matter what the devil throws at you. Your faith doesn't stop life. Your faith carries you through life situations. Someone, did you hear that? Your faith doesn't stop life from happening. Your faith doesn't stop circumstances from happening. But your faith carries you through life situations. Your faith carries you through circumstances. It might not be good. It might not be pleasant. It might be the valley of the shadow of death. But he, he, he didn't promise to take the valley away. But he promised that he will be with you. So there is a certainty that you come, you come out on the other side of the tunnel. On the other end of the tunnel, you come out. There is a certainty that you will not die in that valley. It doesn't matter the situation. You don't give up. It doesn't matter the situation. One thing is certain. I always tell myself, this too will come to pass. I've seen some other storms rise up like that in the past. And guess what? They came to pass. This one too that you are in, this too will come to pass. Pure fire. All of this too, it will come to pass. All of this too will come to pass. But Nisha, I pray for divine intervention in whatever situation you are going through. I pray for divine intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for rapid divine intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God would in intervene. And, and I hear the Holy Spirit saying sometimes you've got to trust him a bit more. Have you ever heard the scripture that says the just shall live by faith and not by sight? God says I should re-echo it to you. 
God says, I should tell you, the just shall live by faith and not by sight. You live too much by what you see. And sometimes what you are seeing is just a shadow. God has dealt with the real thing behind, behind closed doors. But you cannot receive it because you are so preoccupied with what you see. Hallelujah. Vanessa, love, receive the answers to your prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray God connects you to the right person in the name of Jesus. I pray God gives you a good relationship that can build up to a kingdom marriage in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Anisha, I understand you. There are seasons in life you, you completely feel like God has forgotten about you. There are seasons in life when you completely feel like God has abandoned you. There are times in life you feel like God doesn't even hear you when you pray. Keep praying. Just one more prayer. And then just another prayer. There are times that my life is, doesn't build my faith enough. That's when I start looking at other people's lives. Look at people that have been through this same situation. And the Lord delivered them. Amen, Evelyn. Sometimes you've got to go to the scriptures. There is something I learn to do, and it works for me all the time. I learn to encourage myself in the Lord. I learned how to encourage myself in the Lord. Anthony, you are welcome. Vanessa, love God bless you for your seed. You've got to learn how to do that. Learn how to stand before them in front of the mirror and speak to yourself and say, Nisha, this is not all about you. There is a great woman in the inside of this. This is not all about you. There is greatness bottled up in the inside of you. That's why the devil is after you because you have something. There is a treasure in the inside. That's why the devil is fighting you so bad. Sometimes you've got to stand on the mirror and preach to yourself. As just the same way I'm preaching right now. Sometimes I learn to encourage myself in the Lord. Because it's not every time that you have someone to talk to you. It's not every time that people will even understand the magnitude of what you are going through. And most often, people really don't care. If you see one person in your life or around your life that truly cares, not because they need something, you've got to thank God for them and God protect them. You've got to learn how to preach to yourself. When the going is tough, you stand and you say, the lines are falling onto me in pleasant places. I have the God big heritage. Said a thousand may fall at my side, ten thousand at my right hand, it will not come near me. Say the reason why these attacks are coming is because they know I am strong enough to handle it. Not by my strength, but by the spirit of God that is at work in me. Oh, you've got to pray to yourself. You've got to talk to yourself. You've got to talk to yourself. Oh, yes, purest fire. Oh, yes. Don't let life overpower you. Hey, in all these things, you are more than conquerors. In all these things, you are more than conquerors. In all these things, you are more than conquerors. Don't let the devil tell you otherwise. When life gives you a false identity, you no, know, remind life what God told you. Remind life, tell life what God told you. When they say you are going to die of poverty and they remind life that you are, you are a kingdom financial giant. Stop playing. Say, I might not, my bank account might be empty, but my heavenly treasuries are rich. My God is rich. I am not poor. Remind life, tell life what God, what God told you. Remind life that you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, his God's word over your life are yea and amen. The devil might be doing something, but God has done better. God is doing greater. Tell the devil the only reason why you are here is because God is using all these things you are doing to work some things out for my, for, for, for my good. There's one day I got up and I told the devil, you messed up.
I said, because of the pain I've gone through. When someone tells me I'm in pain, I understand what they're talking through, talking about, and I can genuinely pray for them from my heart because I've come to understand what it means to go through pain. I said, what you meant for evil, God turned it around and used for my good. My ministry became more effective because of the pain I had to go through. Devil, you messed up one more time. Oh, you've got to preach to yourself. Don't wait for someone to preach to you. I might not be live 24-7. So you might be going through a situation and I am busy taking care of my baby. <laughs> You've got to learn how to speak to yourself. Remind yourself of what God said, even if you are not seeing it. Remind yourself and tell yourself it will come to pass. And until you see it happen, don't stop talking about it. Until you see it happen, don't stop talking about it. Hallelujah. Oh, I can go on and on and on and on. Oh, my God. Someone has got to stop me. <laughs> Someone has got to stop me because we can stay here till tomorrow. I can keep talking and talking and talking. Don't mind. The mouth is the only part of my It's one of the main parts of my body that is functioning purely well. So I use it well. But did we receive the word of God and the prayers with gladness? If you did, just begin to thank God. Just begin to thank God. Let me stop myself. We are way beyond time. You're welcome, Nisha. You're welcome. We are way beyond time. As we are thanking God, if you have a seed, you feel led to connect with a seed, you have an offering, you have your tithe, whatever it is, just this is the right time. Check the description box or you check that low toll bar is pinned there you have the cash up and the paper there or you can just follow the footsteps of vanessa love and just use the super chat super thanks super six super sticker come on i've screamed and shouted until i'm exhausted <laughs> uh, is this how the daughter of zion is going to make it in life one cold afternoon people are resting the woman is shouting her life out. The Lord will help us. Purest fire, God bless you for your tithes. I saw it the other day. God bless you for your tithes in the mighty name of Jesus. I connect you to your tithes and I rebuke the devourer over your finances, over your life, over your family, over your endeavors in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray and I connect everyone connecting by seat on cash up and PayPal on super chat. I connect you to your seat and I decree God is amplifying your efforts in the mighty name of Jesus. God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. What you used to do, you will do it and you get 10 times what you used to get out of all those out of that same thing in the name of Jesus. God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. God is amplifying your results in the mighty name of Jesus. Someone, I connect you to your seat and I decree the famine is over. The famine is over. The famine is over in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you. And may he be gracious to you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, amen. Is it wall, wolf, et, et. Wolf, et, et. Thank you so much. And feel free, you can see me every day. Every day at this same hour. At this same hour, I'm live. I'm live for our morning declarations. Based on the day and how strong I am, I go live again later in the evening around 10 p.m., 11 p.m. I go live again. Amen, purest fire. But one thing is certain. Did you see this? Uh, we have our morning declarations. It doesn't matter. This. Even on Sunday, I, I pre-record it on Sunday and I, and I premiere it. So I'm trying as much as possible to commit myself we have our declarations every morning. And the sessions have been powerful. So please do join us every day. I guarantee you will be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you so much for joining us, family. Thank you so much for being a part of this session. 
the lord bless you all amazingly have a blessed day a blessed day a blessed day come back after today come back with a testimony in the name of jesus and if you've not liked the video yet if you have not given the video a thumbs up please do that please do that if you have not given the video a thumbs up please do that for me please do that we had more than 14 people praying with us this morning hallelujah with all of that said family i've got to go i've got to go bye bye have a blessed day have a lovely day bye 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 Mama, I love my secrets. Mama, I love my secrets.